and I welcome especially those not logged in. Tonight, Wednesday or Thursday morning now in the UK, is our one of our healing soirees. Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays we've earmarked especially for those in need of spiritual healing. But first, for those who've logged in or not logged in for the first time, I'm Brother Sean and I'm a member of the Teo community of Interfaith Franciscans, a cyber community of men and women who have embraced the monastic life from their own home. And we've dedicated our lives for you, for peace and for interfaith unity within the whole family of God. And mentioning the whole family of God, if you have a candle nearby, I would love you to light it so that we form a circle of light around this beautiful world, our beautiful planet. And as I light this light for global peace and interspiritual unity with you, we bring to mind our Father, Mother, God Supreme, who creates life. In the name of the Cosmic Christ, who loves life, in the name of the Spirit, who is the fire of life, in the name of Gaia, our beloved Earth Mother, who nurtures the Divine in all life, in the name of all faith traditions and none, who are the sons and daughters of the one supreme loving God, our brothers and sisters, and in the name of spiritual diversity we welcome you to this table of selfless love. So let us begin by inviting you to relax, to be still, and to come as you are, a child of God. And we begin by playing this beautiful song from a great man, a spiritual man, John Michael Talbot. And he's singing for us, Be Not Afraid. So just sit back and allow the words to touch you. I 
not afraid. These are the words of the Christ. They are powerful words. And when the Christ says to us, Be not afraid, what he's saying is, Trust me. Trust in me, for I am the way. I am the truth, I am the life. Let us be still and let us listen to the voice of the cosmic Christ speak to your heart. For there is only one voice and it is the voice of God a God of many names. And in our Father Mother God's house there are many rooms, many mansions, which implies many other beliefs. So let us embrace one another. Let us take the words of Francis of Assisi the 12th century mystic eco-spiritual warrior who embraced other faiths. He was a friend of the Muslim. He was a friend of the poor. And he was a threat to those who gave lip service to God whose hearts were far from God. And today, in this climate of ours, we live in a beautiful world. Everything that God has made for us is perfection. Even we, who are created in the image and likeness of God, were created as perfect beings. But somewhere along the way, in our journey, our perfection eroded, coming from six-dimensional energy as a child of light into a world that was third-dimensional energy, dense negative energy. And to survive, many of us have had to build layers and layers and layers of solid concrete to protect our innocence, to protect our belief. And now in adulthood, we are being invited by the Christ, the cosmic Christ, to allow him remove each layer, like an onion, where each layer is peeled away with our blessing. So let us come to this soiree with an open heart. Let us come in trust. Let us come in love, for God is love. And where there is love, there is light. And where there is light, there is God. But each one of us, as you and I both know, are being tested like nothing ever before. We are being tested in our mind, in our body, and in our spiritual journey. And what's so alarming is that the three sacred rooms of mind, body, and spirit are being attacked all at once, not separately, but all as one unit, leaving us quite vulnerable to the dark negative forces that seek to destroy the temple of God within us. But we take heart, because the Christ says, whatever you ask in my name, I will do it for you. And that's why we're here. And I'm guided to begin with the beautiful prayer, the protection prayer, 
which we say in our evening prayer of Vespers every evening live on this channel at five o'clock London time. And if you would like to say it after me, that's okay. In the name of all that is, I draw a bloodline by face around myself, my health, my abundance, my home, my partner, my family, my life's work, my friends, clients and their associates, around the brothers and sisters of the Teo community of St. Francis and Heart to Soul Prayer Partners for Peace. I draw bloodline by faith knowing that there is power, wondrous power, in the blood of the cosmic Christ Jesus. And neither Satan nor any dark energy or entity can ever cross such a bloodline of faith. Amen. Just let us be still now and visualize the white light of God's love encircling us. And let us now welcome the Archangel Michael, who is now taking us by the hand and walking us across sacred ground into the Pyramid of Light. And in this pyramid, we are surrounded and protected by the color indigo blue to represent the cosmic Christ. Let us sit in this pyramid of light and with every in-breath that we breathe, let it be the breath of God. And we have a beautiful prayer which I have said for many years. It was a prayer that we said as young nursing monks. In the comfort of your love, I pour out to you, my brother Jesus, the memories that haunt me, the anxieties that perplex me, the fears that stifle me, the sickness that prevails upon me, and the frustrations of the pain that weaves about within me. Lord, help me to see your peace in my turmoil, your compassion in my sorrow, your forgiveness in my weakness and your love in my need. Touch me, O Christ, with your healing power this night, this day, and with your strength so that I may return to you a child of God, whole, perfect, Be still now and feel the vibration of the cosmic Christ and his love for you. Encapsulate your mind, your body and your spirit. Now sit in the presence of that selfless love and allow the Christ come to you. But you must ask him to come. He waits eagerly to help you and me, but he respects our free will. So as soon as we say, come, my beloved, he will come and he will sit with you. 
and now see him sat next to you and allow him take your hand as a friend would for he is our brother he is a friend he is our teacher and he is the son of God so sit in the presence of his love and feel the gentleness in his touch but also experience the healing energy flowing from his heart into your heart I want to play this special chant it's called Kadesh Holy just sit and visualize the Spirit of God coming upon you. of God, I ask the Cosmic Christ to honor his word to all of us here. He said, whatever you ask in my name, I will do it for you. So now, as a bride of Christ, in service to God, I ask my beloved, the Cosmic Christ, to touch you, dear Miriam, and to fill you with the peace of God, to touch your mom and your family, and that there will be healing of memory, and that you will be free. For dear sister Sue, that she too will experience the healing touch of the Christ within her family as well. For dear sister Elizabeth, that the Lord Christ 
really touch her now. Kelly and Larry, her grandchildren and her daughter and her memories so that you can be free again. For dear Eleanor, for your family, but in particular for you, that you will experience the healing touch of the Christ. For your friend Patricia and her daughter who's expecting to give birth to a Down syndrome baby. For our brothers and sisters, past and present, for our members who've stayed loyal and for those who've gone on, we pray for them. We pray for those especially who've asked us to pray for them. For John, a 32-year-old police constable whom Brother Rob has been asked to befriend and support, whose wife left him and who's now unwell. For Betty and Neville, for Jean and Don, We pray for Sahir, a young Muslim man who's gay and whose family have rejected him. For Alison Val and Mary in Durham, for Barbara Ann, that's our sister Elaine's blood sister, 32, who's psychotic and out of control with a young family. For Brother Harry, for all who are suffering from mental, physical or spiritual illness. For Abla, for her family and her loss of a dear friend. Let us bring all those whom we know who are hurting. Let us bring them now into this circle of light so that the cosmic Christ can heal us. And I pray for dear brother Rob, for his heart condition, and I pray for myself, for God's continued blessing on my life, to give me strength, to honour my contract, and to face whatever. Father, Mother, God, in the name of the Cosmic Christ, we thank you for honouring your promise to us. We thank you for your healing touch right now. Amen. Franciscan blessing and dedicated to all here. May God bless you with a restless discomfort about easy answers, half truths, and superficial relationships, so that you may seek truth boldly and love deep within your heart. May God bless you with holy anger at injustice, oppression, and exploitation of people so that you may tirelessly work for justice, freedom and peace among all people. May God bless you with the gift of tears to shed with those who suffer from pain, rejection, starvation or the loss of all that they cherish so that you may reach out your hand to comfort them and transform their pain into joy. May God bless you with enough foolishness 
to believe that you really can make a difference in this world so that you are able with God's grace to do what others claim cannot be done. And the blessing of God, the Supreme Majesty and our Creator, Jesus Christ, the Incarnate Word, the Son of God, who is our brother, friend, teacher and saviour, and the Holy Spirit, our advocate and guide, be with you and remain with you forevermore. Amen. Amen. And I now would like to dedicate this to you.